Hey, what's going on Audi S3 fanatics? It's Peter, your Audi S3 fanatic here with another DIY. Uh, today's project is going to be pretty simple. What I'm gonna show you guys uh, today is essentially how to replace your in-cabin filter. Now, my vehicle obviously is a left-handed driver's uh, car, so the glove box is gonna be on the right side and the in-cabin filter is going to be inside underneath the Audi multimedia control panel. Uh, so I'm actually gonna take the camera, we're gonna go inside the car so you can see essentially what you have to do. But in a nutshell, there's going to be a face plate that covers the in-cabin filter. You're gonna to have to remove it and you have a secondary plate that you're also going to have to remove as well. Uh, the secondary plate is a little more challenging and you will need essentially a flathead screwdriver and just your finger. So let's go ahead and get started on the in-cabin filter replacement. Here is the first plate that you have to remove right there. And as you can take a look on the right side, there's a little lever that will dislodge the first plate. So what you'll do, you'll push on that lever and pull the plate out. Now that we have the first plate off, I wanted to show you the secondary plate. Here on top is the clip number one. You're going to have a clip number two over here. And then the far left, you'll see another clip right there. What you essentially want to do is you want to place a flathead screwdriver in between the clip and you're going to essentially uh, push it down then this right side here, you're gonna grab it and pull at the same time that you're trying to push down on that little clip. Then what will happen at that point is you'll be able to pull clip number one. You'll move over here, slightly pull it out, and then you'll move back over here and slightly pull that one out. The in cabin filter is out, and I wanted to show you guys what it essentially looks like inside. Now, I can tell it does a pretty good job. I'm just kind of opening these parts here and you can see just a lot of gunk in here. So my car has just over 50,000 miles and I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. And this here is the replacement piece and I'm gonna kind of move this up, show you guys the part number. And now all we're gonna go ahead and do is just drop it in and replace both of uh, those face covers and you are done. And as always, my friends, thanks for your support. This has been another The Audi S3 Fanatic video. I look forward to seeing you guys for the next DIY.